Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm saying good morning as if y'all are in the morning. It's morning for me. It's 9.20, I'm getting ready to go eat breakfast with my niece because it's her birthday. We're going to breakfast because she originally said that she didn't want to do a birthday dinner, so I scheduled a birthday dinner with Parker because we're gonna be in Florida for his birthday. And then I guess she decided last minute she wanted to do a birthday dinner. So my sister was like, well, let's go to brunch or lunch. But I have a lash appointment at one because I leave tomorrow. I just like planned my whole thing. And then all of a sudden my niece switches it. And like, I, I don't want to not see her on her birthday. So we're going to a very early breakfast. We're not even going to brunch. We're going to breakfast at like 10 a.m. For me, that's like very early. I guess people that work at like 5 a.m. are probably like, girl, that's like my lunch time. I really want to vlog today. Um... But I don't know where any of my spare batteries are. And this one just says it's fully charged. But the way that these batteries replay me, we're gonna see. So yeah, I'm just doing light makeup because again, I have my lash appointment after we eat. And then I'm gonna have to take it all off just to come home and get ready for dinner. I got my period back and my skin is just so, not what it normally it is. It's just acting so weird. It's like textured and, mm. So yeah, we're going to Florida tomorrow. This year just so happens to be on Parker's birthday this year. So I was like, do you want to go to Florida? Or like, what do you want for your birthday? Like, what do you want to do? So I ended up just getting us tickets to go out there, which I'm excited for. It'll be Jade's first time like on a flight. Like, being anywhere except her house. Got a little bed sent there to my in-laws house because that's where we're staying at, so. I don't know, we're gonna see how it works. I'm gonna be obviously an extremely overpacker because Jade has like all the machines. She has her owlet, she has her hatch, she has her nanit, which if you don't know what that is, her owlet is the one that monitors her heart rate and her breathing because I cannot sleep without that. Her hatch is the sound machine and nightlight and then the nanit is her baby monitor. My housekeeper had her baby yesterday and she just texted me. <laughs> but I'm gonna clean this. That's so much better, it just was filthy. Um. My housekeeper had her baby last night and the last time she was here, she said that she was gonna try and go natural, which all power to her. I told her, I was like, if you have your mind to it, you can do it. Like, I just never even let it be a thought in my mind. Like, I knew I was gonna get the epidural with all my kids. She just texted me that right before the cutoff, she was like begging for the epidural. She was like, I could not do it without that. And I'm just like, same girl. Same. Back to what I was saying about Jade. Oh my God. So last week I was like, should I start sleeping her in her room? Like I just felt like something was just telling me like I should put her in her room. But I was feeling conflicted. Like I was going back and forth because we're leaving for Florida and it's going to be like new for her and it's not going to be, you know, like our house. So I was like, I'm going to put her in her room and Sleep train. I say sleep training because I don't do be doing that kind of out shit. And then we're gonna go to Florida and like, it's just gonna ruin it. So I was like, is that worth it? I was like, Parker, like, should we do it? Should we wait? And he was like, I think we should wait. And I was like, okay, she's still in our room. So I was giving her a bath and I was like, no. Like I'm having, like my mom instincts are like tingling. I'm gonna put her in her room. And the first night was, you know, it wasn't bad. She woke up like three times, which is what she does in our room. She woke up at, midnight two or three and then again at like 5 30 and she did that all last week and then this week it's like completely different i don't want to talk too much about it because i feel like that's just gonna jinx it but one of the biggest things that i wanted was i want to be able to rock her while she's eating and then i want to be able to lay her in the crib and have her self sue but I don't want to like let her cry while she's learning how to self-soothe. And my sweet little baby child just did that. Like I like will rock her and I'll feed her until she's drowsy, but not sleepy because that's what they tell you to do. And then I just lay her down and like the first time I did that, she needed me to go in and like give her her pasties. She still doesn't know how to like find her pasties yet, which if you know Jade, like she is a passy baby, like she really loves her pacifier. So I had to like go in and help her with that a few times. Well, not going because I just stayed in there. I was just on the rocking chair watching her on the monitor because I didn't want to leave in case she needed me. And then um, the past three nights, like I'm just laying her down and she's just like falling asleep, even without her passy. If her passy falls out, she's not crying. She's just going to bed, which is amazing because if you know, like, 
that girl in her sleep the first five months of her life was um, concerning. I was like, dude, am I gonna have a kid that just like doesn't sleep? And now I'm putting her to bed at nine, which eventually I'd like it to be like eight, but I'm putting her to bed at nine. She slept till one, which I'm not pressed about like ending all of her feedings. Like I'm still okay with her giving like a midnight feeding, which is like basically where you feed them when they're still sleeping, blah, blah, blah. So I wanna do that at like midnight, but I was pushing it last night because she slept until one, because we did go to bed early because Brian had a really late game last night. So I didn't get her to bed until like 10, 10.30. So I was like, she's just gonna sleep a little bit longer than 12, which she did. And then she slept from one to six and Parker got up with her at the six. So I got to sleep until eight o'clock, which is just like not, not normal. I slept from one to eight. I mean, I did get up whenever he got up because I could feel him and also the monitor is by me so I can hear her crying, but I was like, that's all you. That is all you. And she's been like that like the past three nights. So I'm like, have we turned to leave? And now we're leaving for Florida and I'm like, am I gonna ruin what I've been doing this whole time? That's why I'm going to bring all of her little gadgets and we're just going to try and keep it as normal as possible where we're at. Okay, let me see where Parker is because homeboy needs to bring my car. Oh, I got a new car. I definitely haven't vlogged since I got my new car. I got a new car because my kids weren't fitting in my car. I feel like I've talked about that on here, but yeah, I just like needed a new car. I got a three row. I stayed with BMW because it's just what I know. I'm a creature of habit. I don't like new things. I was going to go with like the Mercedes because that's what like Parker was pushing for, but mm -mm, we stay with BMW. I've showed it a little bit on TikTok where nobody's asking for a car tour, but like TikTok is just so brutal. Like I can't do that on TikTok. So I'm gonna do it on here. I'll show you guys. I feel like YouTube just has to get the exclusive because people that come to my YouTube are like OG people. So I feel like I can show that stuff on here without, you know, like getting called names or getting talk too crazy so i'll show that once he gets here to get the other car he went to the office this morning but um so i got the so i'm like showing you my underwear <laughs> so i got the x7 before i had the x3 the m series x3 so i don't know a lot about cars but i knew i do know what cars i had so i had the m series x3 which is basically like a miniature race car or goat cart race car it's really fast and like really small before that we had the x5 and then parker got a car and i got a new car and that car we gave to my dad the x5 was really nice but it just was like time for upgrades so i went from the x5 to the x3 pre obviously knowing about jade because had i known that i was gonna have three kids i wouldn't have done it but also i had that car for like four years so it's not like i only had it for a year i'm talking about the x3 i had the x3 for like four years we had the x5 for like four years too i think um so yeah i got the x3 that was really fun really cool car but my kids just like could not buckle in the back. The car seats were not safe. Like Jade's car seat was like hitting our seat and it just wouldn't buckle all the way unless Parker was like all the way pushed up on the seat and Oliver could never buckle in his car seat because her car seat and then Brian couldn't fit in the middle of them and then he couldn't buckle because both of their car seats. It just was like every time we got in the car, it was just like gave me anxiety. So I got the X7, which is three rows and I got the pilot or captain seats. I don't know what the hell you guys call it. Some people call it captain seats. Some people call it pilot seats and then people get offended when you don't call it the other one so I don't whatever you call it you know what I mean and it's been such a freaking game changer for us like there's no more whining there's no more I can't buckle there's no more fighting Brian's in the back the two car seats are in the pilot seats it's amazing very happy with it I'll show it to you guys whenever I'm leaving what is the temperature out 50 degrees what the hell oh my god sick of this i put my belly button ring back in back to what i said about people rude ass comments people were asking me if i had a second belly button i don't know recently on tiktok it's just been really toxic to say the least i feel like they started talking about a band and not everybody just want to show their ass and be mean i mean it was already kind of toxic before but like i don't know recently people just been talking out the ass but yeah people kept asking if i have a second belly button and honestly i didn't even know if my piercing was still open i have been wanting like a tiny little ring in there because i don't want like the big flashy diamond ones that are super heavy which is going to make it look worse because it's just like holding it down so i was just like let me see if i can put like a 
eyebrow or I don't know something small ring in there or like not even I don't know if it's eyebrow ring I just know that the gauge is 20 and that's like the smallest you can get so I ordered that on Amazon and I just like pushed it in I did have to push it a little bit and it was a little swollen <laughs> for a day or two but it was pretty easy after that it kind of turned like red and stuff and Parker was like take that shit out of you and I was like no it's just healing <laughs> I was a little nervous. Um, so yeah, that's back in there, which is cute. What shirt do I want to wear? Pullover, because I'm not about to get all fancy for brunch. Not even brunch, breakfast. This is a pullover that I stole from my sister, like, years ago. She's gonna be like, oh, I remember that. And I'll be like, yeah, we're sisters, so... Like, if you didn't notice it after the first week of me taking it, that means that it's just, like, mine now. Like, by default. Okay, let's get Jade ready. I really need to find an extra battery for this if today is going to go how I'm expecting it to go with this. Hello, mama. Ignore her dirty clothes. I need to do those. Hi. I know y'all saw that besito. Literally, the cutest freaking. <gasps> what is this? What is this? She said, oh snap, we upgraded to the big camera. Okay, what should we wear? I like put away all of her winter clothes thinking it was gonna get hot and it didn't. So I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna wear. Should you just wear PJs? Should you just wear PJs? Mm -hmm. Mm. Y'all look at these little freaking jellies. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> Jade, your feet are gonna be in this baby. You know what it? And then these ones. I got like the size up, so like these are fit her right now, and then like for the rest of the summer, or like half of the summer maybe, these will fit her. Her feet are really tiny, so these are actually a little bit big. Mommy put her glasses on because she is a blind girl. I feel like my vision has seriously just gotten worse with every baby. It's kind of crazy. I'm gonna get LASIK, but I'm gonna wait until she's like one. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Whoa, I can see again. What, what, what? <laughs> You're funny. You are so funny. Should we do ponytail? What should we do? Should we just put a bow in? What are you feeling? If I were to show you guys her hair curly, you wouldn't believe me. Like, it's so freaking curly when it's wet, and then in the morning it looks like this. By the time Oliver's hair was this length, it was curly, curly, curly. So I'm very confused. Same with Brian. I'm very confused. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I was able to find an extra charger. Wait, where did I put it? I'm gonna try and charge it in the car. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour tour. I'm not like the best at car tours, so <laughs> I'm gonna try. Okay, so this is the steering wheel. Hold on, this AC is going off. I need this to go all like down. Okay, this is the color of the inside, which I love. I wanted like a brown interior. This is the screen. So this is like the difference with the old BMWs and the new BMWs. The new ones have like this giant screen across and the button is right here instead of it used to be right here. And these are new too. This is kind of cool. These little AC things. And then it has lights up here. We had to take this out because we had to clean it. And then Jade, yeah. and in the back was Brian, but we have the other seat down because we had a soccer game last night, so we had to put the chairs in. And the trunk is honestly kind of small, like only the stroller fits back there. But honestly, that's fine because if we need more trunk space, then we just put the seat down like we did. But okay, I'm gonna head out because I'm gonna be late. I have to show her Twinny. Okay, I didn't record a lot at breakfast because my niece is really shy and I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable. I just swapped cars with Parker and gave him Jade so I can go to my lash appointment. So let's see how far I am. Hopefully I'm not going to be late. I'm Parker has this whole damn thing on like ultimate sports drive. Oh my god, I hate when this car is like that. Like I get in here and I turn all that shit off. It feels so different driving this compared to, oh my God, how do I turn all of this off? 
Hi guys, I'm back days later. We got back from Florida yesterday and no, I did not bring the camera. I literally forgot it in the car. Either way, I don't think I was gonna vlog while I'm there just because like, you know, not everybody wants to be on social media and things like that. So I don't ever really vlog when we're there, but I still wanted to bring my camera because pictures, but I forgot it. So that was really fun. So yeah, we got back yesterday at 7 a.m. It was like, I don't know why we, I mean, I know why we did that, but I will never do that again. So basically when I travel, I like them to be quick little weekend trips, like there's like a long weekend, I guess, like Thursday to Sunday. I don't like to be gone for like a week, week and a half. That sounds crazy to me. Like I like my home. So for this trip, we left Thursday night really late. Well, not really late. We got there really late because I didn't want the boys to miss school on Thursday. So we caught a flight at 8 p.m. We got to Florida at like midnight. We didn't get back in. Nobody went to bed until like 3 a.m. And then we were up at like seven or eight because we had to go pick up my stepson and he lives like two hours away from Parker's parents. So that was also really fun. We got like no sleep that night. Then we drove back to Tampa where his parents were. Hung out with everybody on Saturday. Then Sunday was Easter. We had brunch with his family and then we went back to his parents' house. We did like a quick Easter egg hunt. The kids jumped in the pool. They were playing for like literally 30 minutes and then we had to drive back and then back to Tampa and packed up because we had to be up at 3 a.m. to catch a flight back home to be here at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. whatever time we got here because Jade had a doctor's appointment that I could not reschedule so usually I would have caught like a flight later on Monday and we would have done like the switch back for the kids later in the day. But we couldn't do that because Jade had her doctor's appointment and she had x-rays. I don't really like to talk about my kids like medical stuff, but since this is nothing, I'll talk about it. So basically at Jade's four month appointment, when they do like the physical and they're like checking their hips and stuff, Jade had a click on her hip and her doctor said that it's not uncommon, but it's not super common, but it also can fix itself. So she said, let's wait till her six month appointment and we're gonna do x-rays and see like if the click is anything serious so i couldn't reschedule that because then we would have to see another provider at her doctor's office and i wanted to see her doctor so we had to be back really early we didn't sleep at all because the night before we packed and i didn't go to bed until like almost one and then had to be up at 3 30. so we went to jade's doctor's appointment everything's okay obviously that's why i'm sharing this. Everything's fine. It resolved itself. Thank goodness. And then we came home. I passed the hell out. I was so tired. I don't even remember falling asleep. I fell asleep. And then Oliver had practice. And then Brian had practice. Literally the craziest day. That was a long story long. But we're back home. It's Tuesday. I just put Jade down for a nap. I have a meeting with my management team in 10 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna go see my sister's new apartment. Her and her boyfriend, Etienne, just moved into their new place. And they moved in the day that I was leaving, so I haven't been able to see it, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm excited for them because it looks like such a cute little cozy place. But yeah, just wanted to do a little catch up since, I mean, it's been like, four or five days since I picked up this camera. I also need to clean up. Like I haven't unpacked anything obviously. Oh wait, did I tell you guys about my Bay's suitcase? So basically I think I did. I don't know if I did. If I did, I'll cut this all out and then just like get to the end result. I ordered my base suitcase. I didn't know it was gonna be the warehouse sale because I was going back and forth. I want the base suitcase. And then I figured out the warehouse sale was the next day that I was gonna order. And you know, when there's like warehouse sales, everything takes longer because obviously they get like a crazy amount of orders. So I messed up and I waited and then it was a warehouse sale. And so my luggage, like I just thought it wasn't gonna get here on time. So I ended up packing all of mine and Jade's things in my old luggage. We had to leave at 5.30 to get to the airport on Thursday, literally as Parker was packing the car, my bae's suitcase and weekend dirt bag got here. And I just was like, Ugh, I'm not gonna unpack my stuff, which luckily I put everything in like cubicles. So it really wasn't hard to pack. I just had to throw the cubicles in there. But I was like, I really do not wanna unpack all of my and Jade's things. And then I just couldn't resist, mainly because I didn't want to check any of Jade's thing because I have her Nanit camera, I have her Owlette sock, I have her hatch machine, which are like expensive things. And if that luggage were to get lost, it just would have not even just because they're expensive. I wouldn't be able to sleep without her Owlette machine and stuff like that. And I just didn't want to risk losing it or her diapers or her formula or all of her clothes. Like, you know, when you pack for babies, it's like certain things that they're just like attached to, like her sleep sacks and things like that. So I didn't want to lose it. So I wanted to bring her stuff with us on the plane. And that enough was a reason for me to just switch everything. So I switched all my stuff in the suitcase and I put all of her stuff in the weekender bag. I do put air tags in my suitcase. So if mine does get lost, 
house like that happened on my baby moon they lost my freaking suitcase like we got into mallorca and my suitcase was not there and they were trying to tell me oh well it's here it's here i'm like no the hell it's not because look at my ear tag you guys left it i can't remember where they left it but they left it they left my freaking suitcase and so i showed them the ear tag and they were like oh so they ended up getting my suitcase sent to mallorca and they delivered it to our hotel because i was like look at my damn ear tag so if you are terrified of your suitcase getting lost even if you're not you should just put a freaking ear tag in your suitcase because it is a must but even though i had the air tag like just not having her things for the night was gonna send me the boys are a little easier you know i could just run into target and get them some shorts and some undies and a shirt jade has all these things because she's so little still but anyways i'm gonna go get ready for this call and then we'll head to my sister look who decided to wake up say hi mama i put her down for a nap thinking she'd only sleep like 30 minutes and she slept for two hours which is nice but it's like every time i have something to do she wants to do that she went to sleep for two hours yesterday at her appointment her doctor said to start like feeding her meat and fish and peanuts which makes me a little nervous obviously because she has an allergy or something so i'm gonna go get some of those little puff peanut puff things i forgot what they're called i think they start with a b i almost want to be extra and like do it in a hospital parking lot but then i'm like do i need to do that but then I'm like do i need to do that because she's been eating purees for a few weeks now because i started a little bit early because allergies the other kids had allergies and i wanted to see if i could prevent her from having those allergies her doctor said if we start a little bit early that we could probably avoid getting them so i started her on purees already and i do give her a little bit of our food so like a few weeks ago we had steak i gave her a piece of steak she loved it and she said to start giving her fish i don't like fish um but Parker does and Brian does, so we'll probably try and give her some of that. But Parker is allergic to shellfish and so like is his sister, which means that like it won't be weird or uncommon for her to be allergic to shellfish, which means I'm gonna avoid that. I'm gonna go bye bye baby. And I know you're gonna comment and say that she looks like her dad right now. First of all, when she wakes up, I've said this since the day she was born, when she first wakes up, she looks like him. I understand that. But once her face like wakes up and like gets, you know how you have like wake up face? After that goes away, she be looking like her mama. <laughs> I also need to go to my PO box, so. Let's go, let's go say bye to daddy. Say bye. Okay, hasta. The pasta. I'm all yeah, because I think we when we talked about it last time we were talking about some of this stuff would bleed over and kind of training your efforts here. One thing about this car, if you're not looking at the road while you're driving, it is going to yell at you that you're not looking. Like there's a camera, I guess, up here that can see if we're like looking to the side or if we're looking back at the kids. I don't text and drive, but if somebody is texting and driving... Okay, anyways, I'm here at my sister's. I don't think I'm going to bring my camera up because, you know, I don't like to do home tours. I don't like to do location tours because people are a little weird. But I need her to come with me to the PO box because I can't take Jade in there with me. So, um, I'm going to go up and see her place and then I'm going to go to my PO box and I need to go to Target. Hi, guys. Present me is here. I'm ending this vlog. I'm, like, almost finished editing it and I'm just going to add this in because I know I did not close it out i finished when i said that i was gonna go to my sister i saw her apartment which is really cute really proud of them and then she made me a little coffee and we just chatted for a minute and then she went with me to my p.o box we went to target and then we came back to my house and i made a bomb ass pot roast for her my other sister parker etienne we all just had pot roast together and i just didn't pick up the camera <laughs> uh, i know so yeah that really sucks but i'm gonna continue to vlog like i'm just gonna close this out and then tomorrow i'm gonna vlog again and just like try and keep up the rhythm with this because i really i was talking to my sister about this while i was at her house like i really want to not just focus on my youtube but like i don't know i'm feeling like some type of way about tiktok recently and it's not necessarily just because of the band that they're talking about it's just like i don't know i don't know really how to explain it i really do still love long form content and i know a lot of people don't but really you could just put these youtube videos at 2x speed like that's how i watch my youtube videos so i don't like it's it's still long form content but it's still like processing really fast for me because i watch my videos on 2x and i've always really loved youtube i love that i can film for a whole week and then upload and it's not like instant like tiktok is, is instant like i film and 
an hour later that video is up and if I film something and I'm not able to edit it or I'm not able to post it and then I post it a week later it feels like it's like two years old it's so it's so different it's just I don't know like if you know you know what I'm talking about and I just feel like people on TikTok are so bitchy like the people that follow me I love them they're real ones i fucking love my followers but you know sometimes obviously it's tiktok so your videos get pushed out to so many different sides of it and like people are like don't pay attention to these people don't pay attention to people or like why are you always giving these people attention people that say that are people that never have had hundreds of comments coming at you for this and that if you don't get it you don't get it and obviously i ignore so much stuff daily that like once a month when you see me pop off on somebody it seems like i'm always addressing haters but i'm not it's just like constantly because again tiktok is tiktok and that's what i said about youtube like ogs are coming to my youtube and that's why i love youtube anyways i'm like ranting but i'm gonna end this vlog Ugh, my skin is looking rough i'm like starting retinols again and i'm using this skincare like this moisturizer that's really healthy and i'm actually working with the brand which is kind of funny so i can't really talk that much about it right i don't know if i can't talk about it i don't know i'm gonna post a video soon on tiktok so you guys will see what i'm talking about but i'm starting retinol and like my skin is looking a little crack but anyways i hope you enjoyed this vlog I'm about to upload. Thank you for watching. Bye.